Hi, I'm John from Novation. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Circuit Macro Editor that's now available as part of the Circuit Components Content Manager. The Macro Editor lets you see and edit the parameters being controlled by Circuit's eight macro knobs. This lets you learn more about how a patch has been constructed, and it gives you the option to fully customize it to suit your own needs. To use Circuit Macro Editor, you need to ensure that your circuit is updated to the latest firmware. In this case, that's version 1.6. Then you need to ensure that Circuit's MIDI settings are correctly set up. To do that, turn off your circuit, then power it back up whilst holding shift. So you need to make sure that the two MIDI CC pads shown in orange and MIDI program change buttons shown in pink are brightly lit. Then press play to leave the settings view. The eight knobs on screen reflect the eight macro knobs located on your circuit. Making changes here offers bi-directional control over the hardware. Any changes made on the hardware will be reflected in the software and vice versa. Circuit Macro Editor will automatically switch to reflect the synth in focus on your circuit hardware. Or, you can switch between Synth 1 and 2 using the tabs on screen. Each macro can control up to four destinations simultaneously. These parameters can be selected from the drop-down menu on screen. You can then determine the range that you want access to by using the knob located below each parameter to set the start and end point and by how much using the depth control, which can be used to set positive or negative modulation. Selecting a mod matrix slot will clearly display the parameters being controlled at the bottom of the screen. Now let's take a look at the browser. This can be used to browse and load any patch that you've stored on components. It can also be used to load any patches that you may have previously stored on your computer. This is an easier way of organizing your favorite patches from multiple packs and filtering them for easier navigation. When you've created changes that you like, you can then store it straight to circuit on one of the 64 slots. The store to circuit tab can be used to permanently overwrite the changes that you've made to a patch using the macro editor, and it allows you to decide where you would like to store it on circuit's patch view. Alternatively, you can save to patch pool. You can use the patch pool to mix and match all of your favorite patches from multiple packs. Just load up an existing synth patch from the browser, Add customizations if you want to, using the macro editor, and save it to the patch pool. You can then access your custom patch pool content and build a bespoke circuit pack of your favorite patches with your own customizations. Circuit Macro Editor is available now at components.novationmusic.com. It's also available in Circuit Components standalone.